Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Addison, whatever time you're listening, and thank you for joining us for our ASD Chat for All podcast. We have lots of fun and exciting things on the horizon for Addison School District 4, and this podcast allows us the opportunity to connect with our parents and guardians, families, and community to celebrate our students, their accomplishments, and so much more. Your hosts for this podcast are ASD4 Superintendent Dr. Nick Sutton and myself, Dean Constantopoulos. You interested in hearing more about what's going on in District 4? Come on in and have a chat. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us again for another episode of our ASD Chat for All podcast. My name is Dean Constantopoulos. I'll be one of your hosts this afternoon, and I'm joined with my co-host, Dr. Nick Sutton. Nick, this is our first podcast in the new Innovation Center. Now you just totally stole what I was going to talk oh, about. Come that. on, but well, it's, what it's, do you think about today? <laughs> it's exciting because we're down here in the newly renovated Library Innovation Center. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's cool because I am looking out at a window at a bunch of perplexed, mm-hmm. smiling, That's right. curious, curious kids, and even some kids that are more interested in their lunch than what is happening maybe 15 feet away from them. But it's fun. That's true. And you know what? I feel like the more that we do this, the more interest we'll gather, and it's going to be a good time. I agree. I agree. So speaking of interesting, what do we yes. got going on today? Well, today we have two very special guests with us. We have Kate Figura and... Dr. Katie Purse here with us to talk a little bit about our Innovation Center vision team. So welcome to you both. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's been a while since I've been here and I do enjoy being in this space. Thanks for having me as well. Awesome. Well, let's just hop right in. So we obviously know who both of you are, but for anybody who's listening, uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves and uh, how long have you been with Addison School District 4? I've This is my third year at Addison School District 4, um, and my third year also teaching 8th grade social science. And I've been with the district mm, seven years. I had the pleasure of working with Kate when I was principal at Indian Trail when she started with the school district. Would you guys have ever guessed that you'd be looking at a renovated area like this, and like how many years later, isn't that kind of interesting how life works out yeah it's really it's really <laughs> nice to see all the changes it, it looks beautiful to me it looks absolutely beautiful oh yeah and you know what the cool thing is is that while the two of you have a lot of uh experience here in the district as in, in your individual roles today we're actually going to be talking about your roles in our innovation center vision team which is a whole new concept that we're kind of coming up with with this new innovation center so yeah i guess if anything we, I think most people in the community know we've renovated this area. They know that it's very futuristic and forward thinking. So with this kind of visionary team, what's, what's the purpose? If somebody came up to you, whether it's a community member, board member, a random parent, and just said, so you have this area, you have this committee, what are you guys trying to accomplish? I think the biggest thing that we wanted to accomplish was to make the most out of each of the new spaces that we have. Well said. And we have so many ideas, and so we just tried to um, condense these ideas and and think of what we could do first and and just, again, make the most out of each of these spaces and um, help the kids uh, learn as much as they can during the day. I think I would add, too, oftentimes we are we limit ourselves around a schedule we're really good at the middle school of having eight periods nine 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 periods Mm -hmm. and knowing what each person is doing in each period and i'm hoping that the vision crew will think outside the box and think about ways that we can use the innovation center before after school during lunch for non-academic classes but similar things like this what we're doing right now during uh, eighth grade lunch yeah well as there's i feel like there's so much opportunity with this space it's really cool that we have an entire team that's dedicated to coming up with ways to garner more interest and ways for, to utilize the space not just in school but maybe outside of school hours during lunch hours like this that sort mm-hmm. of thing so I gotta say, the space really does look incredible. And for anybody from the community who's had the opportunity to come out, I'm, I'm sure you can agree. And if you haven't had the chance to come out, definitely take a look. 
But while the space looks really good, I know that there's a lot of work that we still need to do so that the space can be fully utilized uh, by everyone here at our school and in the community. So my question to both of you would be, what are some of the challenges that we're currently facing uh, that we want to overcome in preparing this space for everybody uh, to enjoy? And what's the plan to kind of address some of these challenges? Um, I think one of the challenges that we looked at was the furniture in some of the rooms. Mm -hmm. um, so we decided to switch that out just to make the most out of the space um, and so that kids have enough room to, to learn, move around, and do a multitude of like different activities. Um, and also for um, any teacher, if they wanted to rent out that space, mm -hmm. they would be able to do so and do any activity that they had planned. Um, just to uh, give it more of a versatile uh, use, basically. Yeah, and I think if I can add on to that, um, when we were walking around each space thinking about the options for each room, we thought of come up, coming up with a menu mm -hmm. on the corner of the wall as you walked in of here's the different ways you could arrange the furniture and these would be activities that would align. Oh, cool. Because I think oftentimes as a teacher you're thinking, well, I want to get into that space, but I'm not sure what it can do for me or how I can change the lesson. Mm -hmm. And so having options will draw people in more, we're hoping. Gotcha. So, so just for any teachers listening, the format of these rooms is not necessarily set in stone. It's definitely malleable to however they want to use it. Exactly. They would be able to do any lesson that they had planned. They wouldn't have to change it according to how the room is set up. They just can just go in and, and do whatever they had planned, and they know what's best for their students. Well, that's awesome. Sounds really exciting. I, I love it. So let me let me ask you this, and, and I think if anything, it's like a playful curveball because I know how I'd answer it, but I, I'm excited to hear your guys' kind of perspective. If there's a listener out there in the community that's kind of like, wow, you know, I... I remember what my classroom was like when I grew up and, and I turned out okay. Like, why is this exciting? Why is this innovative? Why is this necessary? I know how I would answer that. Like, how would you guys? Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is one of the rooms we were thinking of uh, dedicating, and it's the treehouse is what we call it, it's nickname, um, but it's one of the upper level rooms um, close to the library. It looks out into the library. And we were thinking of doing cross-curricular planning in that room. So having cross-curricular um, lessons so two teachers can use it at the same time um, and combine their classes. And um, it just opens the door to a lot more activities and lessons um, that they might not have been able to do before. So it um, increases student engagement um, and it also increases their learning over time and um, also just increases teacher collaboration, which we would love to do here as well. Yeah. Well, perfect. So, and and that that's that's fantastic. And I know that um, our community and parents, especially, are going to be really excited that we have this new space for our kids to use. So, if they have questions, they want to know more about this space. They want to maybe take a tour. They want to see, think about some. Pl uh, they want to hear about some more plans going forward. What is the best way that they could reach out to this innovation center vision team? Um, through email, they can always meet with us anytime, I think before or after school or during a planning period. I know I'm always available, <laughs> so, um, but they can, they can uh, contact us any way that's easiest for them and just ask what we're thinking. Um, we'd be happy to share. I'd also like to note um, our administrative rep on the team is Christina Vashalako. Mm -hmm. She's one of our assistant principals here at IT, and she would be a great person as well to reach out to. Uh, if a member of the community wants to take a tour or is more interested in the spaces and how we've changed them. Awesome. And so, Dr. Sutton, same question to you. Somebody wanted to talk about this area. Kind of looks like a fishbowl. I'm leaning towards that name personally, but, but <laughs> why don't we haven't come up with a name <laughs> specifically yet. Hey, whatever sticks, sticks. But, but I, how I would think. They reach out? Yeah, I, and I think more than anything, yeah, it's. It's our new learning center. It's mm -hmm. our new innovation center. So anybody out there that's listening, you have as much ownership this as, as anybody, and we want to show it off. Um, school email is always an easy way to find me, but like Dean, I'm always lurking around on Twitter mm -hmm. at Dr. Nick Sutton. Dean, same question to you. And same answer on Twitter at AddisonSD4. Well, 
thank you both uh, for coming in, both Katie's. Thank you so much for, <laughs> for coming in and joining us. And we really appreciate your time. And, and, for, and I know that this is going to be a really exciting uh, venture for all of our community and our kids. So thank you very much. I can't wait until we sit here again in six months to a year and have updates. Yes. Yeah, I'm really excited. And it's nice to have teacher input as well. And they get to also um, add in their ideas, which is exciting. Absolutely. Well, good things to come. Yes. And for everybody listening, stay tuned for next time. Thank you for tuning in to our ASD Chat for All podcast. Check us out at www.asd4.org, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts for more. We'll be back soon with another episode. So stay tuned.